Welcome to On The Couch, a regular catch up where we discuss issues facing the marketing world and hopefully come up with some solutions. Today I'm joined by the Managing Director of Amobi, Liam Walsh. Welcome to The Couch, Liam. Thanks for having me, Darren. And uh, we're going to be talking about mobile phones. Well, in my opinion, probably one of the least utilised uh, media opportunities or uh, marketing opportunities there is. Why do you think that is? And I think it's primarily a lot of decisions made with muscle memory. And I think a lot of marketers and agency people have a fear around mobile because it's very nuanced. There's lots of detail and you can get caught quite easily in not knowing enough. So there's just a general sense of unsurety. The other thing I've noticed is a lot of the reporting on mobile is about mobile advertising spend, you know, the amount of revenue growth. And yet advertising is such a small part of mobile marketing, isn't it? There's so much more you can do with a mobile phone. There are a lot of numbers on ad revenue mobile because we're media people. We love talking about that stuff. But the, bit, the opportunity, it's the wrong way to think about it. The opportunity is 70% of the internet is mobile and it's not 70% it's shrinking, it's 70% it's growing. Yeah. And it's two hours a day of mobile and that's growing and it's one hour of desktop and that's shrinking. And you can do everything on a mobile phone. So when you think about what the marketing opportunity is, it isn't talking about how big the ad spend has grown by in Australia, it's about what you can do. Well, especially because, you know, e-commerce and, and, and the fact that people are walking around with their phones all the time means that it's probably the channel that you can reach out to your customers in the right place, right time and right way, isn't it? Yeah, in the right, in the right place. Because it has that added dimension of, this, because it goes everywhere with you, not just um, in your bathroom at home, all those funny, pithy anecdotes. It's with you wherever you go outside. And so you can, you can start delivering strategy for where people go. Mm. So you can deliver messages based on where people are within five mm. meters. It doesn't scale very well, but you deliver messages based on where people go. The use cases and opportunities are endless. It could be commuters from Sydney to Perth every week, or people from Stanmore to the city, and then suddenly QSR, retail, all those people will be able to track people's journey and deliver ads to those people. Yeah, right place, right time, right message. Um, because, you know, we have a lot of marketers that actually, and I've been sitting in meetings where someone's been in the meeting working, I'll say working, not playing on their phone, um, and yet when mobile comes up, they go, oh, you know, look, it's an afterthought. And yet mobile as a medium and a channel is so much more than that. There's so many more benefits, isn't there? It's that very first question of, in, in many people's minds, they put it as a tiny ad. Mm. Because the device is basically quite small relative mm. to a television or a desktop or something. I think that's why they pigeonhole it like that because it doesn't make any. So size sense. does matter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I've always said that. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. But then, like everything else, like social, like all the other waves, then it will just become normalised. But the answer to that question is the same as the other part, which is it's seventy percent of the internet and it's two hours of everyone's life every day. But in actual fact, the fact that we carry these around with us so much of the day, in fact, there was some ridiculous number of people sleeping with their phones, uh, must produce a huge amount of data and insights around people's behaviour, doesn't it? That marketers could somehow tap into or use to inform them about consumer behaviour. Oh, it does tons. I, mean, I think there's tons of insights. One of the things that's very interesting about why... I would very confidently argue, is mobile better? The answer is, of course it is, because it, because it can do everything. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, you can do anything on a phone. 60% of your life, yeah. Yeah, so in terms of marketing, there is this opportunity to reduce brand. Because if you think about, or the way I think about brand advertising is it's obviously valuable, but it's also structural. If television was the mainstay of advertising for 30, 40 years, 
and you watch television and you can't do anything with the advertising. Mm. You have to wait until you're ready to buy the car or yeah. drink the soft drink. And so you want to remember it. And so we have branding and that's simplifying it, I'm aware. Yeah. But with a phone, you can say, well, I can deliver a message knowing where someone is and knowing tons about them. Do I want to really deliver just a brand message or do I want or to deliver drive a Drive an action. Yeah, yeah, lots of actions. Yeah. So you might be buying things, it might be redeeming a code in a supermarket. It can be anything. So I'm going to go a little off course here in some ways, but is it perhaps that marketers think of that as being more sales related and not the traditional brand communication that makes mobile appear to be a sales opportunity, not a, in quotes, marketing opportunity? I would feel despondently like you are correct. Yeah. But that would be very accurate about how people think. But from a shareholder perspective, I think a shareholder cares more about sales than brand. Well, um, brand should be a step towards driving long-term sales and value. Correct. Whereas sales is all about realising the value of the brand in that moment. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So what would you say if uh, to a marketer that's probably watching this video on mobile as we speak, where's the starting point for them in thinking about mobile as part of their marketing mix? There's a few simple things. They should think about where their customers are mm -hmm. when they experience a message yep. and give them a message based on where they're going to be. If they're going to be outside, give them a message that allows them to go do something outside. They're going to be Doing e-commerce, give them that kind of message. If it's branding, it's branding. Mm -hmm. But think about that goal harder more than defaulting to, I will deliver a brand message to the right person, yeah. independent of what that person is doing. Secondly, I'd say get some mobile smarts inside your business. However you do that, doesn't matter, but get, that in, get those smarts. And then think, just build measurement into mobile measurement into your KPIs because your KPIs will have to change a little bit to mm -hmm. accommodate mobile measurement, which isn't exactly where it needs to be compared to desktop. But certainly much better than a lot of other medium channels. Oh, it's amazing. And you can still solve that measurement challenge. The infrastructure is built for desktop, so you just have to tweak it a little bit to bring in mobile. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. It's just sort of work. Well, thank you very much for your time and thanks for joining me on the couch. Thanks, Darren. And thank you for joining us on the couch. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more on the couch coming soon.